On the Kahuna Maverick panel is the Mav GUI. This gives access to the most used setup menus for a Kahuna. Top left is the Home button, which will take you to a home page. This page is actually user definable in the GUI preferences. Under this are two buttons for copying and pasting, and we'll deal with that in more detail in a later video. At the bottom is the Star menu, which gives access to special functions and the menu jump feature to dial in specific menus. All menus have unique numbers and these, where possible, are the same on either menu system. Also on the star menu are buttons to record macros and assignment buttons for other functions. To close the star menu, touch the star again. Navigating around the different pages of the Mav GUI is done either by swiping left or right on the title bar or by using the up arrow to go back up the menu tree. Let's look at an example menu, the Kia Resize. Top left is the button to delegate which area of the switcher is to be adjusted. Hitting this button brings up a pop-up. Switchable settings are changed by touching the required setting. A gold display shows what is actually currently selected. Variable adjustments are made using the three knobs on the right. These are coloured pink, green and blue and touching the required adjustment on the GUI will attach those settings to the knobs. Any value which is shown in white is the default value and if it's cyan, it's been changed from the default. Pushing down the knob brings up a pop-up to allow the value to be normalised to its default or snapped to the nearest round number. The number pad button adds a pad to dial in specific values. To close the pop-up, push the knob again or hit the cross. On this GUI, the buttons are colour coded for what they do and they go bright when they're selected. They can also show a partial mode with a dimmed indication. Any dark blue button will take you to a new page. Many menus have a blue button top right to take you to a pop-up to select sub-menu pages. Some menus have blue buttons to take you to additional pop-ups. Some multi-button pop-ups have a scroll bar on the right of the scrollable list. Selecting values in tables can be done either by using knob attachments or sometimes via pop-ups if you see this symbol. You can input text from a physical keyboard by touching on this symbol or double tapping brings up a virtual keyboard. Many of the functions on a panel can automatically jump the GUI to the relevant page to ease setup. This is menu tracking and it can be inhibited individually on the GUI config menu or by using a global tracking inhibit button, which can be found under the star menu. Hitting this will disable all menu tracking for the panel on all GUIs. Many GUI settings can be changed in the GUI preference menu. This page can be found from the home page by hitting configs. And then in the panel configuration section, you'll see GUI prefs. Alternatively, you can hit the star menu and dial in menu 8895. Scroll down the list to see all the available options to customise your GUI.